I'm Phoebe and I'm the content editor at Waroni. My name's Georgie and I'm the art editor for the Waroni magazine. I manage a team of 15 sub-editors who will work to source and edit written content for the magazine and I oversee the processes of this. I do quite a lot of proofreading, um, which is probably the most finicky part of my job and one really fun part of my job is laying out the magazine and working with Georgie. One of my main roles as art editor um, is doing the cover of the magazine. And so for this edition, the Psyche edition, um, I had a woman reading tarot cards um, down the bottom of the page. And I chose to put the Canberra towel in one of the um, tarot cards to sort of link it back to Canberra. Um, and I love using eyes in my work. Um, and I put an Egyptian evil eye on her arm and eyes on the back of the page. So everybody explored um, the theme of Psyche slightly differently to go with different articles and in their own unique style. Um, so we had some physiological aspects like brains, close-ups of faces, then we had some constellations, tarot cards, um, and they all sort of worked really nicely together in like an eclectic um, exploration of Psyche. <laughs> The ways in which people interpreted the theme was really interesting and produced a lot of um, diverse content. We had a sci-fi creative piece which actually referenced a species called Psyche. Um, we had a features piece which talked about the origin of the word Psyche and how it comes from um, mythology. We had a piece about social media and how it impacts on the psyche and we also had a really interesting piece which applied um, Freudian theory and psychoanalysis to Jekyll and Hyde. It's a way for like emerging artists um, to get their name out there to have their work produced in print around campus. I think it's really cool to walk around and see people like reading the magazine and like looking at the works that you've done. A lot of content in there that I think a lot of people would be able to relate to. There's a lot of content that reflects topical issues and the diversity of content in there is something that we're really proud of and we think readers will really be intrigued by. I think it'd be a really cool read.